Hello visitors and subscribers. Today I would like to start working on this chair because this is going to be the chair used in the, with the vanity set. Although the pieces did not come together, we're going to try to make them work as if they are together. These are the cutouts that came with this set. This set is green leaf furniture kit from 1982. So it is vintage. And this cutout is for the cushion of the seat. This one is for the cushion right here on the back. The set came with nine chairs. Four for the dining room, four for the kitchen, and this one for whatever we need. So since I only have this cutout, I'm going to make a replica using any kind of cardboard. The cardboard that I use that I am using is actually a tag from from a piece of clothing. It also came with this little piece of leather which you know I'm going to save for another project. These are my cutouts of cardboard and I have a little piece of sponge. This is pretty thin. This sheet of sponge actually came with my furniture kit. So I'll cut the same as the cardboard. And you'll notice that I'm leaving a tiny little piece of, of foam of a little bit bigger than the cardboard. And the reason for that is that when the fabric falls, I don't want the cardboard to stick out. And this is the fabric that I selected. I tried to go with the fabric that is less stiff. Um, I hope that this works because when you're working with something so small, it could get really uh, stiff, rigid. When I cut this, I do not need to follow any pattern, just around the same shape, but I do need to figure out what I would like for my center to be. So I think for the seat, I would like the big flower. So I'm gonna go with this. So roughly in the center and a little bit of tacky glue. and so on all around. So it's been glued all around and I'm gonna set it right here and put something with a little bit of weight just to make sure that when it dries every little piece of fabric it's been glued onto the cardboard and then I move on 
to the next piece. And in the same manner as I did the first one, so I will do to this little piece. This is what the back looks like now. And then it goes directly onto the seat. So for that, I'm going to apply the glue to the seat. Thin but even layer. Like butter on your toast. And a tiny little bit of weight, not too much, to make sure that while it's sitting there, it's been pressed against the seat. And this is what the back looks like. Let me see where it will end up, so as to not apply too much glue. Actually, on this one, I'm going to apply the glue to the cushion. If anything spills, just remove it. I expect that when I squeeze it a little bit, it's going to spill over. To finish it off, notice how if you were to turn the profile Right here you can actually see folds and creases of the fabric. Let me make sure that you see it. Well, to avoid that, I'm going to add this piece of ribbon. This came in a little bag with jewelry. That little bag of jewelry I used to line my jewelry box but the cord I'm going to wrap around here and then you will not be able to see any of what happened underneath the cushion first off I have to trim the tip right here to start with a clean one and right away I want to apply glue so that it doesn't fray away. And immediately after, so the glue goes on to the junction where the fabric and the wood meet. And the rat tail goes right in there and then it will look like a finished piece of furniture and so on until I go all the way around the chair all around the base and we have to do the same thing to the backrest and with care not to 
get glue onto the fabric. I'm going to start at the bottom. Removing the excess. And continuing all the way the circumference of the cushion on the back rest. This is what the little chair looks like. It looks like it's completely finished. We continue the ribbon, the rat tail, all the way to the back. It looks comfortable. It looks cushiony. And now I would like to set it where it belongs in front of the vanity. The chair can be set in front of the vanity and they look like they belong together. I'd like to know what you think, you guys. You can leave me your comments. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, today is a good day to do so. Thank you so much for watching from Lloyd Dollhouse.